We are live at Tardec with General Stone and the Michigan National Guard. General, good morning. Morning. We've been talking about alternative fuels and the great testing that was done at Camp Grayling. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of that? Oh, absolutely. You know, we are happy uh, in the Michigan National Guard and uh, to support Tardec activities and program managers. Uh, you know, and uh, we have a memorandum of agreement uh, that we utilize and a process that we use. And uh, most recently, we just. Uh, evaluated about 10,000 gallons of, of synthetic fuels uh, with the Michigan National Guard unit at Camp Grayling. Um, the beauty of it is, is is the soldiers drove on with their normal scheduled training and we simply coordinated um, to incorporate the synthetic fuels evaluation with the, that soldier equipment. Uh, very NIE-like I'll call it, um, but at uh, a very flat, simple uh, no cost to the U.S. Army to, to put you know products in soldiers' hands, get evaluation feedback, and meet the program manager's requirements here at Tardec. This type of evaluation is just it, it pays so many different values. Can you talk about some of those benefits? Well, first of all, it's zero cost to the Michigan Guard. It doesn't interfere with our mission, our training mission, and, and or, or that type of or anything along those lines. From a program manager's perspective. Uh, we're a resource right in their backyard, the Michigan Guard, uh, where if there's an alignment, it, it, the cost savings on the TARDEC side uh, is, is tremendous and the coordination doesn't have to occur through the active duty chain of command. Uh, and geographically, you know, we're only two hours up I-75, plus we have units all throughout uh, Michigan that can evaluate products uh, under an agreement as long as we follow a process and we have that process in place and it's, it's adding value to, to the Army. And you've got a big facility there. Absolutely. Camp Grayling's 147,000 acres. It's one of the premier maneuver sites for the U.S. Army. It's uh, designated to be one of the U.S. Army Active Army's regional training sites uh, in 2014 and beyond. Uh, and we want to make sure that, uh, that we, you know, the Army knows that we're here and that we're an underutilized resource and we welcome this type of activity and relationship. General, thank you. Thank you.